Hey everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. So a few weeks ago, I shared my recipe for my watermelon fries. But of course, these are no longer called watermelon fries. They're watermelon fingers now, or legs, or, or sticks, or, or hockey sticks, H-E double. I don't know what they are, but they're not watermelon fries on my channel anymore because people were so mad about it. I get it. We don't want to mess with fries. Fries are holy in their own right. So today I want to share my recipe for real fries. So I'm doing fries two ways. We've got some sweet potato fries and some russet potato fries, and they're getting paired with my no added sugar ketchup. Now ketchup is pretty much a food group in my home. We love ketchup, I love ketchup, and now that I'm a mom, my kid loves ketchup. Um, but I wanted to create a ketchup recipe that I felt really good about giving him because a lot of the store-bought options are packed with corn syrup and tons of salt and additives. I wanted something that was really made with all the ingredients that I would be feeding him anyways at home. Not only am I putting this, of course, on my french fries, but we're putting it on eggs. We put it on burgers, on grilled cheese, on mac and cheese. All the good things in life deserve an equally good ketchup. And this ketchup is not just for kids either. I hosted a brunch last weekend and I served this ketchup and everybody was all over it. Super delish on a little home fry action. So let's get to this. To make my fries, I cut my potatoes into quarter inch thick fries. I'm using both russet potatoes and sweet potatoes. Then I place them in a bowl and microwave them for five minutes covered in plastic wrap. Carefully remove the plastic wrap and blot them very well on paper towel. Next, I grease my pan lightly with a little bit of oil and pop it into a 425 degree oven to preheat. I like to preheat my pan because it means that the second that the potatoes hit the pan, they get crispy and golden brown. Then in a bowl, I mix together cornstarch, salt, some more oil, and I toss the potatoes with the mixture. At the 15 minute mark, I take my potatoes out of the oven and give them a good flip. And for the rest of potatoes, I add some black pepper, and thyme, and for the sweet potatoes, I add some cinnamon and chili. Then I pop them back into the oven for 10 to 15 minutes until golden brown. Next, let's make my no sugar added ketchup. Add a little bit of oil to a medium skillet over medium low heat. Add in your chopped onion and cook until it begins to caramelize about 45 to 50 minutes. Then I add the garlic and cook until very aromatic, sweet and caramelized, about another 15 minutes. Next, I add some tomato paste, passata, some chopped dates, apple cider vinegar, balsamic vinegar, dried allspice, dried cloves, dried oregano, and some fresh thyme leaves. I give that a good stir and let it cook on low for about 15 minutes until the dates are very soft. Next, I transfer it to my blender and I add a little bit of salt and some pepper, just to taste, and then I puree that until it's really smooth. Yay, fry time, real fries. Nom, 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 nom. Mm, that's my fry voice. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with your go-to fry dip. Are you into mayo or ketchup or barbecue sauce or honey or chimichurri or something fancy pants like that? I want to know. Also, are you team sweet potato or regular potato? Sweet potato, regular potato. I can't choose, so I'm honestly just gonna have both of them today with my ketchup, but I love to hear from you. So definitely leave me a comment below, and of course, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.